Good evening, listeners. You're tuned to GFM 96.6. It's me, Althea, back again for two days of Community Link Show, taking you through 6 to 7 with the usual music, information, news and advice. It's really busy in the studio tonight. We have two sets of guests. The first set of guests are actually Teddy Burton and... Gary Thompson, Chief Superintendent of Constabulary. They're both here to talk to us about the GASP project. I'm not going to explain to you what GASP is about, but because um, that's their role and that's why they're here to talk to us. And they have a special event coming up. So, welcome to GFM Studios, both of you. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Thank you. Good okay. And you've both been before, so you know the drill, really. I don't have to explain too much. But for those of um, those listeners out there who know very little about the GAS project, because you're from two completely different organisations, but, you know, give us um, an outline of what GASP is about. In fact, GASP, what's it stand for, first and foremost? Okay, thank you very much, Althea. GASP is an acronym for Gloucester Advisory and Support Panel. Um, last year, a number of churches in the local community around the Barton and Church Earth area came together to form a group called Churches for Change and we, we celebrated Black History Month in October together and in October as well we also had a community forum under the, the theme Our Rights and Responsibilities. Superintendent Thompson was a part of that and members from the, the Crown Prosecution Service mm -hmm. and out of that meeting the decision was taken that we need to, needed to have a group which has ongoing dialogue with, with the police and with the Crown Prosecution Service to represent the concerns of the black community in particular. And that's how um, GASP actually came into being. That's essentially our role, to, to work to improve the relationship between the black community and the arms of the, the criminal justice system. Um, we hope in time to branch out into other areas like education and so on, but for the moment that's where our focus is. And we've been having a series of meetings with sorry, Superintendent Thompson and representatives from the Crown Prosecution Service. Mm -hmm. And this event we're about to have is part of that process of trying to improve the relationship between the community and the arms of the criminal justice system. Okay, so tell us what that's all about. And I'm happy for you to come in there, <laughs> Chief Superintendent Thompson. <laughs> Thank you. Well, as Teddy said, we've had some really good series of meetings up till now where we've discussed some really important issues about policing locally and how we can try and make sure that we provide a forum for local people to air their concerns and to give us some feedback about what we're providing. Mm -hmm. And um, as Teddy mentioned, we thought that a really good way um, to get the local community and the police together was this event, Let's Come Together, on the 1st of June, where people could come together meet the police in a, a less formal atmosphere so that we could improve those relations and, and really get to know one another so that when we do interact with each other in the future, um, you've got that familiar face and, and, and that person who you perhaps played netball against or had a bit of a tug of war or, or lost at five-a-side football team. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 the losing. The, the, yes, the losing part. Um, we, we'll come back afterward and we'll correct that. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm, saying, I'm not sure about the netball either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just give you a whoop in with on the netball court as okay, well. We're hoping, fine. yeah. So, just before we go on to talk about the event, because um, you mentioned the word feedback um, and opportunities for dialogue. So far to date, what sort of feedback are you receiving? You know, from the the black community. I mean, the meetings we've had have been really productive and Teddy mentioned that um, a forum was held where local people were able to come along and speak to me as the person responsible for the provision of policing within the city to explain some of the things which they weren't happy with, um, to raise some issues with me and really to enable me to give them some feedback and, and perhaps one of the things which is missing from time to time is when the police do something or they don't do something, the local community sometimes wants answers and an explanation and that isn't always is forthcoming and that can lead to misunderstandings and on occasions increases in tension mm -hmm. um, and that's not good so um, by providing these forums where people can come along they can hold the police to account and get us to explain why we've done things and where we've got it wrong it enables me the opportunity to tell people we've got it wrong mm -hmm. because we don't always get it right we deal with some really really difficult situations and from time to time they don't go always the way we expect so it gives me the chance to have that feedback explain what we've done and really take responsibility for our actions. And if we don't get them spot on, then it gives me the chance to feed that back. And if need be, 
to apologise. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, there's one side of policing is about actually preventing crime, but there's also that bit about the protecting the public. Do you get a sense that the, um, the, sort of the BME community in Gloucester understands the bit around the protection of the public because they themselves are members of the public? Do you think they get a sense that it's their right for protection as well? Well, I hope so, because mm -hmm. our aim within the city is to make sure that people are kept safe from harm, that they don't come to harm, and to improve confidence in the local police. Mm. Now, quite clearly, events like this and providing the opportunity for people to give us feedback will hopefully go some way to improving that confidence in the police, because once you get to know us, you can have an understanding of what we're doing, and you'll find that we are completely focused on reducing crime and stopping harm coming to people. So I hope that is the case, and if it's not, then events like this give people the chance to tell me that's the case so that we can try and do something about that because I'm committed, along with the help that we get, to making a difference to the way we provide policing within the city. Mm, okay. if, if I might just add as well, Althea, on the previous question um, in terms of what dialogue has been happening, mm -hmm. following that forum and, and the members of the public having the opportunity to speak directly to Superintendent Thompson. We've been having subsequent meetings and as members of the community ourselves, people have been sharing concerns they have with us and we have been representing those to the police and the CPS. And we've been having, you know, a very good response, very uh, good dialogue, mm -hmm. frank discussions and, and I think productive. And I'm very heartened by the fact that at the leadership of the police in the city, we are having this kind of you know, commitment mm -hmm. to, to work to improve relationships. And as a matter of fact, the police are throwing their weight fully behind this, this event. Mm -hmm. And as Superintendent said earlier, I mean, for, for people like myself who are fans of, of Heartbeat, um, <laughs> I, you know, we, we kind of developed this, this idea of, of the policing, a, a kind of policing where you know you're a local copper, you know? <laughs> and um, I think that's what we're aiming to, to do. Because if there's a certain, uh, as Superintendent alluded to earlier, if there's a certain informal interaction, pleasant interaction, before we get to that formal stage, sure. then the level of trust will be increased. And that's what we're trying to do so that we can have confidence that what is being done by the police is, is actually, you know, being done in a fair and equitable manner. And so that the police can also feel the confidence that we will trust what they are doing. Yeah, okay, and, and um, you know, it is about fairness and equity, and I think trying to get that message across is, is so important and, uh, for that community to understand that you, will, you may be on the receiving end of either part of the service, but if you don't engage, you can't change and affect any of it, can you? And, right. and I just really like to echo what you've both said there in, in terms of we've recently gone undergone a reorganisation within the constabulary as of the 1st of April, and that's meant that we've reorganised and made sure we've put extra staff into our community teams. So what Teddy talked about there, the whole sort of our heartbeat ethos about getting local officers, local policing teams is what we're aiming for. We've increased those numbers and I, for one, want to make sure that local people within the area get to know their local officers. So, as you've said, we can solve some of the small problems before they get into real problems. That's right. Brilliant. Okay, let's, let's move on then to the event and the event's called... It's called Let's Come Together. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be held at Gloucester Academy. That's at the Escort Court escort close campus, formerly Bishop's College. And formerly uh, Oxtals. Yes, yeah. <laughs> indeed. Yeah. indeed. So, uh, we, who knows where we go next, but for now it's, yeah. it's Gloucester Academy mm -hmm. and it's at that site on escort close. And it happens on the, the 1st of June. We hope to get as many people involved as possible. This will be during half term. Um, so, And it's a family event. Mm -hmm. uh, we will, of course, the, but we are, we are having it between 3 and 7 p.m. because we're hoping that people who are at work will also have an opportunity to get involved the last couple of hours or so on after work. Um, there's a wide variety of events. There is a five-a-side uh, tournament. There's a netball tournament as well. There are prizes to be won there and, and um, bragging rights, of course, and, and <laughs> trophies and all that. So we, we'll be having um, bungee runs, uh, sumo suits, gladiator jousting, a climbing wall, 
two on two cage football in particular for the for the kids since the uh, football tournament is mm -hmm. from 15 years upwards and of course we'll be having very good music and we'll be having very good food and I challenge anyone listening to tell me when last they got something so good free so <laughs> the, it's going to be a really good day and we're inviting everyone to participate you know. okay so when you say everyone because a lot of it is sport orientated so everyone's that anybody who feels they're physically capable of participating absolutely and <laughs> and also I should have mentioned for those who do not feel that they're physically capable of, of getting involved in these kinds of activities we will also be having uh, a quiz competition as well mm -hmm. so that's you know more sedentary but it gets the gray cells working so those who are interested in in that side of things cannot and there are prizes to be won there as well so you know there's something for everyone it's a it's a family oriented event and we're really urging people to get their teams netball teams football teams together and i'll give you the, the contact details in a minute that they can submit their teams to and let's go challenge the, the, the police let's challenge each other in in the local community mm -hmm. to these um competitions and see how we can get on okay quick question has the police got a netball team already organized and if so, they play in division level. <laughs> <laughs> well, the answer to that is, is yes to both. <gasps> what and division are they in? <laughs> I think they're pretty good, actually. So oh, okay. I think they did say that they were going to wipe the board. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> All right, then, we'll see. Okay, that's, that's definitely set as the challenge. Okay, you'll have to come back. You'll have to give me, um, to me the nod on what the division what division they are in so that I can make sure we put together a team. I guess we'll find out on the yeah. board. <laughs> <laughs> you'll have to let me know in advance because you're going to make it... You've got to make it even haven't you yeah. you've got to make it even so what you don't want is a low level division team playing a high level <laughs> police division team you want to have um, a competition because you want people shouting on the side so is there going to be a deadline for people to register their team yes we are hoping that n next friday i think that's the 30th sorry no um two weeks time is two it? weeks yeah. time. and the next friday is the deadline whatever day that is. i think that might be the 27th if i'm 27th, correct yeah. 27th yes right. mm -hmm. next friday the 27th we're asking everyone to submit their teams by that date and i can give an email address and two telephone numbers mm -hmm. that that they can submit the teams to um the first number is dean's number and it's zero seven eight two eight seven one two four three two that's zero seven eight two eight seven one two four three two and the second number is natasha's number and that number is zero seven nine two one eight one six four one nine that's zero seven nine two one eight one six four one nine and there's a nice and easy email address it's just the name of the event let's come together june at yahoo.co.uk so that should be easy okay. to remember let's come together june at yahoo.co.uk oh br brilliant the poster that you've got that's going to be up and about in a number of places isn't it so oh, yes. people should be able to are you going to put it in a lot of the shops down on the like barton street and things so people if they want to know they can come and yes we're flooding the air with these posters brilliant. and we're sending them home through the schools as well the local schools and uh -huh. the police are helping us in distributing them great and and of course there'll be more media um you know promotions as well so yes we're we're getting the word out there and it, really if even if someone is listening and they do not have a team themselves mm -hmm. and they are interested in playing as a part of a team i know for example some of the churches are pulling together netball teams but they might not have a full team mm -hmm. so if somebody wants to play they could call let us know they are interested we could link them up with a team whether it's football or netball and we just want to get everybody involved really okay three to seven p.m so your tournaments are they going to start quite early because i'm the, just thinking i work but i'd love to the, the tournaments we're hoping will start around 4 30 p.m right. um all the other activities will be going on from three mm -hmm. but for the very same reason you've mentioned because we want people who are at work to also have an opportunity we'll start those a little later so those start at 4 30 and then of course those coming from work will have have a chance to to be slotted in at, at another time at a later time so everybody will have an opportunity brilliant okay because i'm looking at your partners because they you've, you've got the gloucester constabulary you've got gloucester safe for community partnerships is it i can't yeah that's right <laughs> you've got faith net yes faith and, um, and and churches for change which is the network of the local oh, sorry, churches i, I, yes. I, I mm. referred to yes i, I mean I, I must i must exercise you know great appreciation to 
Faith Net Southwest, Faith, Faith to Engage, the Police and, and um, the Safer Communities Partnership because they are really funding this event. So somebody is paying for it, but it's free to the public, right? Mm -hmm. So we're, we are urging everyone to come and, and be fully involved and to enjoy the day. And make the most of what is will be a very well organised, free and fun again it event, but also an opportunity to have some informal discussions. I'm, I'm assuming. It, it That's right. That. Yeah, definitely. I, I mean, that would be a great opportunity, uh, as we've already said, to get to see some of your local officers, to have a chat, uh, and also then to lick your wounds once you've got beaten at the team events. <laughs> you see, there's a challenge now. Now, how can anybody turn that one exactly. down? Exactly. <laughs> we have to prove him wrong. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Now, so the community needs to come together and support this event because it's important. It's important that you begin to have the dialogue, but it's important, obviously, that we come together and demonstrate our sporting prowess. That's right. I'll remind you, demonstrate yeah. our sporting prowess. <laughs> If I may make one, one final point out here, yeah. um, th this is not the only event we'll be having. It's mm -hmm. the first in, in, in a series of ongoing events. So, so I know that later in June, for example, we are going down to Waterwells to the police headquarters. Mm -hmm. We are taking the fight to them there. So, you know, we won't be finished with them at um, Bishop's <laughs> College. <laughs> we, are, we are going on their own ground to show them it wasn't a fluke when we beat them <laughs> on, the, on the first. Either so we're, we're, so it, it's, it's, and that one will be um, a, a youth event will select teams of young people to go and play the police at, sure. at sports mm -hmm. and the police will run seminars like stop and search seminars to explain the rights of the young people when they mm -hmm. encounter the police okay. so it's, it's part of an ongoing process to improve relations as i said and and to improve trust on both sides yeah brilliant brilliant yeah. so um we look forward to that event it's not very long it's coming up in three weeks time isn't it two, two, two weeks, weeks time, time yeah. yeah first of june so we've hardly got any time at all so get your act together community and don't disappoint and i'm sure you won't be disappointed if you come out to enjoy that day and hopefully the sun will be shining on it we hope. <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay so thank you very much oh food by the way it's what sort of food is going to be on offer <laughs> well um there, there's a certain you restaurant know what it's like it's, it's most food is most important yes it's very important <laughs> and it's a very good restaurant mm. there's a certain restaurant advertising on this station which okay. which, which which risks um creating marital problems in the advertisement <laughs> it's that restaurant we're getting okay, it from it, it's, it will be caribbean food but there will be so primarily but there will be something for everyone sure. so okay, it, it will be very brilliant yeah. okay right. thank you very much both of you for coming in gloucester fm radio with the people for the people serving the community